Right, so here's what's going to happen. As you've probably noticed, this is not like my normal videos. So what I'm actually doing right now is uh, I'm playing my favorite drone simulator and I'm going to basically talk about lucid dreaming while playing the simulator. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to make more videos on this channel. I've been listening to what you guys have been saying. Um, I don't make enough videos, but at the same time, uh, it takes a lot of time and effort to make videos. And so that's why I've only been able to make a few. Um, but when I, if I basically just film the screen while I'm playing the simulator, it means that I can make more videos, less editing time is required. And uh, I find it kind of like, uh, what's the word? Um, therapeutic, that's the word. I, I find it therapeutic and quite nice to talk about things while I'm playing this simulator. I also want to improve at, you know, flying a drone. Um, and hopefully this is, you know, a bit more interesting than just watching my face. You know, we're flying around some landscapes. There'll be some cool tricks we can try and do. Um, maybe you can pretend it's a lucid dream and we're flying around the lucid dream together. Anyway. Anyway, so in this video, I want to talk about what my first lucid dream was like. Uh, because it's been many, many years now since I had my first lucid dream. And a lot has, a lot has changed. Um, you, what, you'll find, oh, damn it. what you'll find is that when you have your first lucid dream, um, more often than not, especially if you're a beginner, it's going to be very quick. Um, and you probably as soon as you realize you're lucid you'll basically wake yourself up um it will be quite disappointing to some degree because just as soon as you realize what you're what's happening you've woken yourself up and it's it's over but don't let that put you off oh, don't let that put you off because um your subsequent lucid dreams after that if you keep practicing uh, with any luck they will actually get you know so that you can lucid dream for longer and longer <clears throat> Excuse me, I need to clear my clear my throat there. Uh, yeah, you can kind of lose the dream for longer and longer as you go along, uh, which you know is a motivating fact to continue because although your first lucid dream you know won't be very long, you'll probably wake yourself up, especially if you're doing something exciting or you know um, engaging. The lucid dreams you have after that should be longer as you practice and especially if you practice meditation um yeah it will get easier so what was my first lucid dream like well you've got to remember this was many many years ago uh and at the time i didn't even know what lucid dreaming was uh and if you've read any of my work on my site or if you've read the about section it was kind of an accident so my first lucid dream i was a kid and I was, I, as you can probably imagine, uh, had a, kind of like a dislike for authority. I was misbehaving. Didn't, I didn't very often do what I was told. And so I misbehaved and my parents sent me to my room, uh, you know, to, to think about whatever it, what it was that I'd done at the time. Um, and while I was in my room, I was obviously very young. I had a lot of energy, but I was very bored. And so... I really just wanted to, to make the time go faster. And so what I did, effectively, is I just tried to have a nap. Um, and I can't remember the exact age I was at the time, but I was young. You know, this was like below the age of 12. I know that much. Um, I was young. So I just I tried to have a nap to make the time go faster so that I could, you know, go back on my computer or whatever it was I was doing at the time. Um... And so what happened is I had all this energy, you know, as you do when you're young. Uh, I had all this energy and curiosity, but I was trying to have a nap in the middle of the day. And so what happened is I had an accidental lucid dream. And it went something like this. So I was walking down the street and, uh, and maybe some of you can uh, leave a comment saying like the actual description of the lucid dream starts at four minutes or something. Uh, I was walking down the street and I looked down at my hands and I realized, hold on a second. This isn't like I was just in my bed two seconds ago. So this can't be like I can't be here right now. What's going on? Oh, so I must be dreaming. And I kind of I'm quite fortunate, I guess, because I worked it out so so young and without any you know experience or knowledge of what it was. I just basically worked out what was happening. I said, well, this must be a dream. Then. I must be in my bed 
dreaming what's happening right now. And and I was, and it was a lucid dream. And obviously at the, the, first, uh, the first second I realized that, I immediately woke up in my bed and my heart was racing and I, you know, I didn't know what had just happened because it was so, it was so unexpected and random and strange compared to what I'd experienced before that I did not know how to like come to terms with it. I had no idea what had just happened. And it's pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting, but that's basically what my first lucid dream felt like. And, and probably a lot of you are wondering, well, I was hoping for something incredible, like really interesting, detailed story. But more often than not, your first lucid dream is actually, although it is exciting that the fact that you're, you're doing it, the actual experience, you know, what you're actually dreaming about or doing, usually it's pretty boring. You know, usually it's just like you're walking down the street, you look around, you realize it's a dream, you wake up. It's literally like, for most people at least, it's just enough to realize that you're dreaming and you you are lucid dreaming, but not much more. And so I hope that it doesn't disappoint you, but don't let that put you off. Because although, they, although your first lucid dream will probably be quite short, and for most of you, it will be quite boring. The fact is you woke yourself or you managed to realize you were dreaming while you were still asleep. That's the key. Um, so then when you actually get better at it and you start practicing how to make it longer and everything like that, you're in a really good place. So what I'd like you to do is to scroll down right now and leave a comment letting me know if you've had your first lucid dream, what, what happened in it, what did you do? And if you haven't, let me know what you want to do in your first lucid dream. And uh, I'll probably try and read out the funniest or the most interesting one in my next video. And also, I really, really would like to hear what do you think about this type of video where we're just chilling out, talking more casually, there's less editing, and uh, I'm just, you know, it, it's more like you're having an actual conversation with me compared to my snappy editing that I usually do. And the drone simulator in, in particular, like, is this okay that we can make videos like this and just chill out while we're flying, flying around? Um, Hopefully, as I get better at flying this thing, it'll be more interesting for you. Um, for those of you who are interested, it's FPV Freerider. I'm using um, uh, an actual drone controller, the, the same one I use for my real drone. Anyway, um, let me know what you think. There are different landscapes, and I can even build my own levels and stuff. So for the gamers among you, uh, maybe this is a bit more interesting than just seeing my face. Um, but more importantly, I think... The fact that we're flying around like this in different landscapes could actually be quite inspirational for a lucid dream because, you know, your subconscious mind absorbs that. Hopefully not the crashes, uh, but your subconscious mind will absorb that and hopefully, uh, maybe, in some of you, it will trigger a flying dream. Um, anyway, let me know.